man dies with a clean sword, I'll rape his fucking corpse! Hello and welcome. Hope all things Evany are going well for you. This video will go over some of the aspects of the Alliance competition, and a strategy to get most of your Alliance members to the highest possible Monarch reward. What we know is this. 1. You can buy additional chances using gems. It looks like no matter the league, 5 more chances is the max. If there is more than 5 chances you can buy for gems, please post the info in the comments. 2. There are 5 leagues. Each league has an ultimate reward once you achieve a certain score. The rewards will scale up as you get your alliance into a higher league, and each league will provide a set of free chances. The free chances do not refresh at the start of a day. The chance is not given back if you abandon a challenge, so be very careful not to waste your chance on a challenge you cannot finish, or a challenge with low points. 3. Once you accept a challenge you have 24 hours to finish. Each type of challenge will have different point amounts based on the difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the more points you get, lower the difficulty, the lower the points. 4. There are some personal challenges that are on the board for each alliance member. But most of the available challenges are the same for all the alliance members. So all the alliance members can select the same challenge. In my opinion, this is the most important aspect of the challenge and, the key to getting most or all of your team to the ultimate rewards. 5. R4 and R5 can delete shared challenges. The personal challenge can only be deleted by the individual alliance member that has it on their board. The R4 and R5 has no access to personal challenges. When you delete a sheared challenge it is removed from the selection of all alliance members. A refresh time will start. I have seen 10 minutes for the refresh time. At the end of the refreshing time a new challenge will appear to all the alliance members. R4 and R5 free challenge chances is not affected because you delete a challenge. Only if you start a challenge. Then abandon it will the chance be taken permanently away. Strategy time. With this information we can create a path to get as many alliance members to the ultimate reward using only the free chances. And maximize the point so your alliance can move up to the next level league. First, the team needs to know the minimum points of a challenge that will be left on the board. To find the minimum points of a challenge you need for your league, take the top rewards points needed and divide it by the free chances. In the novice league you get 15 free chances and the top reward is achieved at 2600 points. So, the novice league minimum points for a challenge would be 174 points. For the junior league you need 3000 points to get the top reward and you have 16 free chances. So, the minimum points for a challenge is 188 points. For the elite league you have 17 free chances to earn 3500 points. So, your challenges will need to be over 206 points to get the ultimate rewards. In the Legendary League you get 18 free chances to earn 4,300 points. Get, over 4,300 points to get the ultimate rewards. So, your team has to average 239 points from each challenge. Last is Epic League. Here you get 20 free chances to get 5,200 points. Get the 5,200 points to get the ultimate rewards. So, the challenge need to give over 260 points. Second, R4 and R5 need to keep deleting the challenges that are below the minimum points. The ability to delete and get a challenge refresh will eventually bring up the challenges with the points you need. Members then. Select the challenge and finish it within 24 hours. The alliance competitions last 7 days. If, all members complete 2 challenges a day. They will hit the ultimate score using only the free chances. Note. If a member has a good gem strategy and can afford to buy the additional 5 chances, do it. All scores will contribute to promotion into a higher league, and, or, maintaining your alliance position in a competitive league level. 3. R4 and R5 need to agree on the types of challenges that the whole team can do. Each alliance will have their own list based on the abilities of its members. For our alliance we have. Strong boss hunters. A good strategy for getting stamina and. Good gathering. We all started in the novice league. This league gives you 15 free chances to hit 2600 points, so our minimum points for a challenge is 174 points. Our challenge list is divided into two categories. Individual and rally challenges. For the individual challenges. Gathering RSS from outside the city with points of 200 and 240. Increase power with points of 200 and 240. Consume runestones with points of 240. Refine equipments with points of 200 and 240. Offer in shrine with points of 200. Special mention. Spin the wheel of fortune with points over 174. We did delete to refresh the board but we did not see a wheel of fortune with points of 200 or 240. For the rally challenges. Consume stamina with points of 115 is the most that I was able to find. 
We did continue to delete the low point version in hopes to find one with points over 174. Killed boss monsters with points of 170 is the most that I was able to find. This was one of the challenges that was personal and sheared on the board. Unfortunately, we did not find a version over 174 points. Some additional notes. 1. The gem rewards are not that great for any league. You will always spend more gems doing a task than what the total reward will return. I wish the gem rewards was similar to those from the Barbarian Palace and Pyramid events. Second, novice and junior give a 30% chance to get an epic general. A epic general is one of those gold generals without a gold skill book. Your team should push hard to get into elite league or higher to avoid getting crap generals. For the first competition I did buy additional chances. It was not clear if chances renewed each day. And I had to abandon a few challenges. By the end I did get the ultimate rewards and, my team was promoted from novice league to junior league. For the next alliance challenge event, the strategy will remain the same, but we will make point minimum adjustments to get the ultimate rewards. Let's briefly summarize things. R4 and R5. Find the minimum points needed to get the ultimate points. Delete the challenges until the specific challenge comes up with the minimum points you want. Get the challenge done within 24 hours. And finally, get two or more challenges done each day. Hope the video helps the free-to-play grinder. Mega Coiner and all in between, with their Evany growth, development and strategy. Evany is not an easy game. It's a challenge learning all the different aspects. And is not for those that cannot adapt to an ever-evolving landscape. Evany the King's Return is a thinking man's game. So, study hard and get your Evany IQ up. Hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. And show the love by hitting the like button. Have a great day.